Officially in Hilo, Big Island of Hawaii. First stop of the day, it is Hilo's Farmer's Market. Let's go. Look at these aguas. Mmm, tamales Peruvian style. Please. Do you want one? No, Can I ask you here? Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, this looks so good. This is my first time trying a Peruvian tamal. And look at this, it looks so good. Thank you. One for you. Oh, thank you. Okay. I go on. I kind of fool myself with that. Look at this deliciousness. Just got three. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're cheap too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're making our way to Peepe Falls. Look at this neighborhood. So cute. Oh yeah, but big, big city. Ooh, Pepe Falls. And it's not even Pepe, it's like they pronounce every E. Super interesting. Okay, we're checking out Pepe Falls, aka Boiling Pots. Oh my gosh. Ah! That looks pretty dangerous. I still want to do it, but I don't see anyone over there. So, I've seen some videos of people going down over there and actually swimming in that little area right there. And then you obviously get a better view of the waterfall. Should we try and find a way or what? Hmm. Do not leave Valley Boats in Kona. So we had zero luck at Pepe Falls, which sucks. I mean, we got to see them, but not hike down there like we wanted to. So next stop is Kaumana Caves, which this looks pretty interesting. And it's an activity we can do. Honestly, this whole trip is basically just winging everything. Hello, this trip was, mm, I wouldn't say unplanned, but it was very, almost last minute. Are you ready? All right. Oh my gosh. And you can go both ways. Cave number one. And you can actually explore these and go further down. You see that light over there? So there's someone over there with their flashlight on. Do you want to, girl? I'm down. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm okay. <sighs> Might be a little slippery. Every time I do this, I always end up falling or I lose a camera. <laughs> Just because both of my hands are holding something so I can't really catch myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is pretty amazing. I've done some caves in Missouri mm -hmm. that go in pretty deep, but this is different, right? Because this is like part of a volcano. This is different, yeah. I've, I've been in caves in Missouri. Oh my god, look how gorgeous that is. That does look really nice. Go down. I think you can also, it's not like a, it's not just like a one way, you can come out over there as well. I wish there was another, another group of people. Here we go. Oh, there's like writing. That is such a small space. Look at this. Crazy. You can do it, girl. Look how smooth the, um, the rock is. Looks like chocolate. It does. <laughs> Because Pepe Falls didn't work out, we found another waterfall and this one looks a lot more promising. There's no like actual visitor center. Okay, another waterfall that starts with a W, but we just parked along the little road. All right, we brought sneakers for a reason. Oh, 
Wait, are you sure this is it? Girl, this isn't it. Oh, look, that side looks a lot better. Okay, we got the creek. Attempt number two. We don't even have water. We made it down and already this feels really awesome. Coming down was a bit slippery. I don't know why I'm going through the water when clearly <laughs> there's a dry spot. She wants to get messy. Oh, you want to get wet. We made it to the waterfall, but we we're sort of expecting a bigger waterfall. We got this little tiny sliver, which is still good. There's a lot of fish, so I don't really feel like swimming, but I still feel like I want to check out another waterfall. So it says there's another waterfall six minutes away from here, walking distance. I don't think that counts for us though, because we're on the bottom. So we're gonna get up there and then, yeah. I mean, if there's anyone around there, oh, my stick. I'm gonna go get it. How are we doing on time? I wanna say, what time is it? Okay, it's already noon. So morning is gone. Yeah. Farmer's market. Yeah. And then this waterfall. True. The pe'epe. Woo! My hand already hurts. Oh, it's actually from holding the camera. Do you ever watch Survivor? Like every season ever. Yeah? Yeah. I love it. Okay, my favorite um, season was the one with Tony, oh, the yeah. cop. His first season? Because he was in 40. Or the one where he wins? He wins both. Stop, really? I did not know he was in there twice and won both. No way. Yeah. We just made it to the top and you guys are not going to believe this. We went the wrong way and obviously the pictures didn't look the same as the waterfall that we were just at. And it turns out, literally our car is parked right there. We went to the left, it turns out it's to the right and it's so crazy because you can hear the waterfall and it's literally right here. Oh my gosh, she has some big ass. Love that for her. Okay, go off. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I love it. Love it. I love it. He did say keep right. He probably swam right here. Oh my gosh, Sarah. Tight little space, love that. Last, we made it to the waterfall, and this one is amazing. It took us maybe five minutes. Yeah. I am 100% gonna pinpoint this location for you guys, and then right over there is another waterfall. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. I already went in, girl. Oh my god, this is amazing. Naya would love this. We just did some swimming. Oh my gosh, that wind. It feels amazing. Honestly, I don't want to leave this admiring this freaking waterfall. It's so gorgeous. Okay, sneakers on. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. A lot more people came. Okay, let's. We're about to take the top off. This is always fun. Yeah! Okay, okay, now we're ready. So we're gonna check out Sui Sun. But there's a huge sign that says, please wait. So I can go ask. It is a fish market and it's literally right next to a fishing area. Mm. Interesting, interesting. So the mango habanero. So I went with the Hawaiian and and the spicy ahi. It does. Polka dot it. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. Hawaiian blend. And then the spicy one. Mm. That is really good. 
looks a lot different from Fresh Cut. It's just like my go-to. This duo. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I love Food Man. They're just so good. The one down by Savers. It gets from the fish market there. It is 3 p.m. now. We just stopped at 7-Eleven. Was it a 7-Eleven? I don't even know what it was because if it was a 7-Eleven, I'm pretty sure there would have been a lot more food. Uh, but it was just a quick gas station. We got some water, some chips, some chicle, and a Red Bull because, you guys, I've been up since 4 in the morning making cotton candy just so I can make my flight at 8 in the morning. So I've had a pretty long day and I'm trying to just get that energy back we just got into the military cabin so we're about to check in at such a perfect time and then we're gonna head straight to the black sand beach because really we only have a couple hours left of sunlight so we want to take advantage of that and then once we have black sand beach out of the way then everything's up in the air for whatever we want to do next which for sure we're gonna check out the volcano and then we're still thinking about Mauna Kea I just I something about Mauna Kea the fact that it is the tallest mm, mountain in the world if you count it from sea level it's pretty crazy Woo! where are we at cabin 89 quick little cabin tour we got to our cabin number 89 you guys it is so cute look at this it's so cozy obsessed look at these flashlights like we're ready lighter assuming we can do our own fire which is pretty cool i don't think i can do it can you can you manage <laughs> no <laughs> couch a little desk Ooh, mini fridge see yeah we need some drinks some coffee i was really scared to open this but she's good and then we have two beds a fool and a queen let's look out the window <laughs> creepy for sure a cute little sink area and then a huge ass tub at least two inches above highest jet oh my gosh it's a jacuzzi i thought it was just a regular tub oh my god we have to get bubbles we have to get champagne yeah it's like deep yeah for sure <sighs> i <good>. love it <laughs> okay so we're about to get ready really quick freshen up and then we're gonna go to black sand beach we just made it to Black Sand Beach. It is right behind these little huts. Mm. Before that, this is a pretty nice view. Currently on top of the Jeep. By the way, obviously this is the rental. I'm gonna stand on it. I'm like, I wanna stand, but I'm afraid. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, that was my ass. <laughs> Who did that? I got my hair wet in the waterfall. I knew it was going to fuck this today. <laughs> I, had, I had condition. I should have put some on, huh? Okay, I'm going to get down and take your picture up on the top of the Jeep. How does it look? Black sand beach. <sighs> Just the thought about it, of the black sand beach. It's insane. Oh, yeah. These are so cool. Coco? Is that a mango or a coco? Insane. This one closes at nine. Oh, okay. That's still early. That's crazy. They do flights, though. Oh, that's awesome. That's cute. I had so much fun at that Whiskey Dixie place. Oh my god, that I know. Really that was really fun. I got... That is you the were most able drunk to dance. I have had. That's like the most drunk I've been in like five years. It's okay. I thought that um, buoy was ahead. a seal. Oh, okay. <laughs> the whole time I'm like, there's a seal. I'm going to tell you what they're selling. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, this is a freaking dream. I'm at a black sand beach. The sand is literally black. I want to take this home, but you're not allowed to. What's on the menu? It's like mainly just like they sell like shirts. Oh. Sweatshirts. Some merch. Merch, yeah. Mm. Bunch of black sands merch. 
any black sand? No. I did read somewhere that you can't it, take it, but you could buy it. If they do, then it would be there. We noticed there's turtles over here. You can see three big ones. So we're gonna go check those out. Guten Morgen! You guys, last night, oh my gosh. Okay, so we ended up going to dinner. First of all, that sort of sucked because everything was closed. The only place open was this Thai place, which food was okay, but it's not really what I wanted. I, was, I, was, I had some wings in mind. <laughs> Anyways, on our way back, because our cabin is in the Volcano National Park, we stopped thinking it was a good idea, which, eh. First of all, so beautiful. I'm gonna insert some clips from my phone camera because I didn't take this one and you guys are gonna be like, this is insane because it was freaking amazing. Maybe like, right, just lost. I know, I, I'm like, let's do it. It obviously looks a hundred times better in person. I could have stayed there all night long just looking at it. There was actually a couple in a camping chair just looking at it. I'm like, this is so awesome. And I think we went around 9 p.m. Then we seen that you can go even further down to the lava, like just getting closer, probably having a better view. So we decided to go on this little trail. That probably wasn't a good idea. We ended up, um, well, I heard some people speaking Spanish and I was like, oh, Spanish. I sort of invited them. <laughs> I was like, do you guys want to go on this trail with us? And they said yes. So we just went on a mission to get closer to that dang lava. But you guys, there were so many trails. It was sort of confusing. I felt like we definitely went the wrong way and the trails just kept on going and going forever and then turned to 10 p.m. and then 11 p.m. and it was sort of scary just because it was so dark but we finally made our way back to the visitor center which i was thankful for we had each other we had each other overall it was it was a pretty fun scary experience we were scared, but we had a good time. I got these like island apples I want to try. We need to wash them first. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, today we're wearing some bright lime green pants actually from SR. So I'll leave the link down below. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, my mom would love this. This tastes almost exactly as I thought it was gonna taste and it, what are those called? I gotta Google this. Okay, so Sarah says it tastes like an Asian pear. I had another thing in mind. I just don't know the name of it. So I asked my mama and I'm waiting on her response, but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. Is it 7.30? Uh, 7.5. Okay, so it's 7.45, which isn't too bad. We're ready. It is 8.16 a.m. We're about to check out. The hair is still in this little rod, which I'm going to take out in maybe like 10 minutes once it catches a little air. But here we go. Bye. Bye, Bye cabin. Going. Are you serious? It is warmer outside. Cold in here. We were so cold last night, and... I didn't want to get up, even to pee. Obviously, every now and then, like, they leave extra blankets, which they did, and that would have been awesome. Last night was certainly an experience. Noche Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Don't even talk to me about this. I don't even want to talk about this trail right now. <laughs> Girl, we went past this trail. Like we were, we were starting the lava tube trail. We were yes, on the map. Yes, we were seeing these lights over here. Oh, this is the pullover to see it. 
Mm-hmm. By where every network. Let's go. Gonna win. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, I think like over here. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Next stop of the day is the steam vents. Oh. I thought it was gonna be warm. Is oh, it? it is, it is, it is. It's just the coldness right now. Oh, that feels so good. All right, let me smell like soup. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, misty. It is raining, which. I heard it rains a lot in Hilo, but for some reason, because it didn't rain the entire first 24 hours, well, the entire first day, I was like, it's not gonna rain. And then we got some rain today. But we just made it to Hilo. We're about to have breakfast at this cute cafe called Vibe Cafe. I went with the brown sugar lavender latte. She looks cute. Did you like yours? Yeah. It's definitely lavender. It's so good. I'm gonna try yours because we have brown sugar. I can taste and it made it a hundred times better. <laughs> it's such a different taste. Oh, I did whole milk. You did it. You did. Yeah, I did almond. Are you, do you do whole oh, milk? Yeah, I'll try it. It's sweet. I love her. Oh, it's sweet. It's so crazy how they're so different. They're really different. They're really good though. The brown sugar is really good in it. Yeah. Love it. It's delicious. I'm gonna dig this so fast. Okay, and again to it. And then we got some um, avocado toast to share. And then I went ahead and got a Greek salad. And it does have artichoke and lily koi dressing. Which is pretty interesting. Okay, our last and final stop is Carl Smith Beach Park, I wanna say. And I was thinking of going over there, but look what we just found. This gorgeous little private beach area. It's cute. Okay, we're about to go swimming for a bit. Oh, that is cold. That is cold. I am so annoyed. I keep forgetting my GoPro. Why? Why is this happening to me? And it's so clear this would have been a perfect spot to go under with you guys. We just did a little swimming, feels amazing. I can't get over our little spot that we got. It's perfect. Officially back in the island of Oahu with the hubs and baby girl. You guys, I had such an amazing time. This was my first official solo trip since having baby girl and I was freaking out about it two days before the flight and I did miss her, but I'm so glad that I did it. It was the perfect short little girl's trip. I also very much enjoyed vlogging. I just, it was a lot easier to do it without baby girl, but my next few vlogs she'll definitely be in because we are going to Japan. So excited to bring you guys along, but for now, I am ending today's video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the family. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.